welcome again to Edie's Fashion Factory. So, you say Edie. Um, Edie, what's up? Can't you show a little bit of restraint? And the answer, surprisingly, is yes. Okay, we're making a one-of-a-kind floral t-shirt using a waxless batik technique. We'll use foam stamps to apply a washable resist medium, which will prevent the dyes from coloring the fabric. Avant-garde, no? I can't say it. Lay the t-shirt on layers of plastic wrap with parchment paper between the front and back. Fold it in half to find the center. Mark it with a pin. Pour some batik easy resist on a paper plate. Using a small brush, apply it to the flower stamp. Remove excess resist with the handle of your brush. Press the stamp onto each side of the centered pin, about half an inch from the neckline. Then stamp another flower below. Continue stamping flowers and leaves as your heart desires, working out from the center to the shoulders. Apply new resist each time before you stamp. Using resist from the bottle, draw stems between the flowers and leaves to create a vine effect. Of course, you can place your stamps anywhere. It's your shirt, Shirley. When you're done, let the resist dry or use a hair dryer to speed things up. Be sure to shake the liquid dye before pouring. We'll mix tangerine and scarlet, our dipping colors, in two tones, dark and weak. Remove the pin and parchment paper. Hold the shirt and sleeves upside down because we're going to be dyeing from the top to the bottom. Dip about two thirds into the weak solution, then dip partially in the dark solution, then dip again in the weak solution to blend the colors. Let the excess dye drip off or squeeze it lightly. Lay the shirt on the plastic wrap. Place another layer of plastic on top and seal the edges. Fold it, now let's hit the microwave. My, it's getting hot in here. <laughs> Cover the bottom of your microwave with paper towels. Then place the plastic wrap shirt on top. Set on high for two minutes and give yourself a pat on the back. Wear rubber gloves to remove the shirt. Cut open the plastic wrap and allow everything to cool. To remove excess dyes, rinse the shirt in changes of cool water until the water runs clear. Wash it and dry it. Then one last step. To make those flowers really pop, stretch the shirt over a padded board to prevent slipping. Then outline them with a red permanent fabric marker. A voila, a dazzling tea that's sure to attract stares from that cute checkout guy at your local craft store. And that's Edie's Fashion Factory. Join me next time when I introduce you to some cool color combinations that won't go mainstream till the 22nd century. And yo, remember what I always say, make what you wear and wear what you make, or just go naked. <laughs>